y'all don't know Amazon is evil. Uh, we do not stand. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Rima Reads. So I had mentioned in a previous video that I don't really buy that many books, so I thought we would kind of put it to the test and go through my 2020 book haul. I've also seen like a lot of videos floating around YouTube on like booktube and consumerism and things like that and so I thought I would kind of throw in my two cents not to talk about consumerism in general but just to kind of talk about the websites and places that I bought all my books so if you're looking to if you're looking for good alternatives to Amazon I'll mention some websites and other places you can buy books. Unfortunately uh, these are all very US centric because I do live in the United States and so all of the places I buy books from deliver to the US but I do not know enough to say whether or not they will deliver to outside of the US so I apologize for that but yeah so here's a list of the books that I have bought this year and where I have bought them from. I did not buy a single book from Amazon this year which I'm very proud of because like Amazon is so evil and I do not want to support them and they also hold like the highest market share in selling books. I definitely urge if you are able to buy from places that aren't Amazon to go for it because right now they are the largest seller of books both physical and ebooks. I do own an Amazon Kindle and so I have bought three books this year on Kindle. Usually I try and read all my Kindle books via Libby which is a application that you can connect to your public library and they'll just like send you ebooks uh, checked out and you can automatically download them to your Kindle and read them and I love Libby. It kept me alive during quarantine, <laughs> particularly those first few months of COVID. But uh, I have bought three books from Amazon Kindle and so those three books are Project Management for the Unofficial Project Manager, The Legendary Shiver. This book is a self-published work Amazon does have a lot of self-published titles because it's pretty easy for authors that are self-published to like just post on there and then have it download to their Kindle application. And then the last book I bought is Dawn Chard by Brandon Sanderson because I did not want to wait till the physical copy came out. And so those are the three books I bought from Amazon Kindle this year and the three ebooks I bought. The next book I bought this year is the Adventure Zone Pedals to Metal graphic novel. This book I bought from Barnes & Noble which is better than Amazon but I try and stay away from buying from Barnes & Noble because it is another like bigger corporation that not as much money go to independent bookstore owners and authors and things like that but I do always buy the Adventure Zone comics from Barnes & Noble because I bought the first one um, from not Barnes & Noble and they came, it came with like this special Lucretia poster with the void fish in the background and I was so jealous. I really love that poster and so now I always buy the Barnes and Noble edition because these ones these ones have like special trading cards in it and I want whatever exclusives they're giving to Barnes and Noble folks so um yeah the adventure zone. <laughs> so in general I do really really try and buy from local independent bookstores with COVID, it's kind of harder to get out there, but also local independent bookstores are struggling a bit more. So I always urge people to like look up on, look up your favorite local bookstore and check if they have a website where you can like order books online and have them shipped, or you can order books and maybe pick them up uh, curbside or in the store. That's what I did for most of these was I picked um, them up in the store after ordering them online. And these are all recent books because I literally did not go to a bookstore for like most of this year because of COVID. So uh, these were all very recent buys from my local bookstore. So the first one is The Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. The next book is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And the last book is A Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. I always try and buy from local bookstores as much as I can. But like I said with COVID, it is kind of hard to get into a bookstore. And so the other website that I really, really like to shop from is bookshop.org. This is a website that basically pulls together resources from a bunch of local independent bookstores. And so 
if your bookstore is like an affiliate with bookshop.org, you can buy from bookshop and they'll give part of your part of the sale to that specific bookstore. Otherwise, they'll split uh, your sale amongst a whole group amongst a whole group of local bookstores. And so I bought two books this year from bookshop.org. And the first one is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. And the next one, I don't know if it really counts as a book, but I did buy it. Um, and it's the Dungeon Master's Guide uh, because I am a DM and I own the Player's Handbook. And I've owned that for years and I just really wanted to own the physical copy of the Dungeon Master's Guide. So those are the two books I bought from bookshop.org. There are other great websites that you can find local independent bookstores, like, like I mentioned, the bookstores website. There's bookshop.org. There's also a Libres, which is a marketplace of independent bookstores that you can buy from as well. So there are definitely other websites out there for your local bookstores. The last couple of books I bought this year were from thrift shops. I love buying books from thrift shops. They're super, super cheap and I love cheap books. Uh, it's also like the most sustainable way of buying books. Definitely you get a second life out of a book and so I love thrift shops. And I discovered this website this year. It's called Better World Books and basically uh, for every book you buy they donate a book to communities in need. They also work on sustainable shipping for their books and they have both new and used books on their website so you could buy either. The remaining books I bought this year were all from Better World Books and I believe most of these are used but some of them might be new. And so the books I bought from this website are Better Allies, Everyday Actions to Create an Inclusive and Engaging Workplace, uh, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which I have not yet read but I'm very excited to read sometime in 2021. Black Man in a White Coat by Damon Tweedy. I have not yet read this book either, but I'm very excited to get to it next year. And then this one I just most recently bought. It is Stormglass by Jeff Wheeler. I don't really know what this book is about, but the cover looks real beautiful. And then the last book I bought from Better World Books is Thorn by it in 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 Intisar Kanani. Intisar Kanani. Uh, again, I have not yet read this book. I don't know what it's about, but it was like three bucks. Uh, love thrift shops. So those are all of the books I bought this year. Some other places that I did not personally buy from this year, but I have in the past and probably will in the future are Half Price Books, which sells both new and used books and I really like them. They will also buy back your old books and so if you want to sell some of your old books, Half Price Books is a good place to go. Also really like Biblio which is a non-for-profit, non-for-profit book online bookseller who also donate books to communities in need. And of course like just finding your favorite independent bookstore and <laughs> trying to buy from them is definitely the best way to get new books. Unfortunately, I don't really listen to audiobooks at all, so I don't know necessarily where people go to get audiobooks when they're buying besides Audible, but I'm sure there are other resources out there. But in general, uh, as you guys can see, I only bought 10 physical books, not counting my DMs guide, and three ebooks this year. I have definitely read much more than that and that's because the majority of the books I get are from the public library and I just love the library so much and honestly I think that a public library is one of the most important spaces that we have today. It's like one of the only free free public indoor space that people can just be and they offer often offer a lot of important resources to the community like job services and internet access which can definitely help the lower income and homeless folks in the community and so I really really love supporting my public library as much as I can and um, part of the way I do that is checking out books from them both physically checking out books and through Libby to get books on my e-reader. I, I always recommend checking out books from your library because I love the library and everyone should check out books from the library. Those are all of the books that I bought 
this year. I will post all of the links uh, that I talked about, all the links to the websites I talked about below in the description. If you guys have any other places that are like great to buy books from, like definitely let me know. I'd love to check them out. And I can't wait until like things open up again because I miss going into bookstores, like local small bookstores and getting lost in their little like corners and finding like a nice book in a thrift store. It's always so much fun. And so I can't wait till that opens up again. But I do really love some of the websites that I've bought books from this year. And so I highly recommend uh, folks to check those out. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you all for watching. Um, bye. I'm still filming. Hello. I'm going to cut this out. Hi, you can't have me say hello in the thing. You want to be on YouTube? I don't know, it depends how weird I look in there. Yeah, you, I think you'll look pretty weird. <laughs>